So first of all, I would like to invite to the stage Morten Vestergaard. And Morten is the head of division at the Danish Working Environment Authority. So Morten, welcome. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As a representative for the Danish Working Environment Authority, I'm happy and excited to be here tonight and to introduce the Offshore Safety Award. As the Authority for Health and Safety in Denmark, we will always require a high level of safety. And we will also require to reduce the risk in accordance with the ALARP principle. but it is not the authority that is in charge of the safety. It is you and the person next to you. You are the players that every day keep the safety level in a good and high performance level. We are looking forward to future cooperation to ensure health and safety for the employees in the offshore industry not only the offshore industry for oil and gas, but also the renewable energy that will increase in the future. A future where it's important to maintain and develop the working environment and prevent social dumping. Every year, Danish Offshore hands out the Offshore Safety Award. The purpose of the Safety Award is to support good examples of safety vision or behavior. All employees, organizations, and companies within the Danish offshore sector can be nominated. This includes employees working both offshore and onshore. The nominations criteria are inspiring and motivating companies or colleagues to increase their safety focus. Improving safety collaboration by sharing knowledge and lessons learned. Making observations which lead to great safety improvements. Carrying out the right actions, trying to save a person in an accident, saying stop, and performing an intervention. Again, this year, Three nominees have been selected, and you will be introduced to them in just a moment by Klaus Nexø. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you to Klaus Nexø, who's from Rely On. New Tech, um, who is one of, the uh, one of the sponsors and partners for the award. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Great. Well, welcome. And um, uh, Klaus, I'd love to ask you, why is it that you chose to be uh, a partner for these awards? Um, being a representative for Falk New Tech, uh, we, we conduct safety training globally, so safety is in our DNA, basically, so, so we really appreciate uh, this event and others like this, and we think it's safety is paramount, it's in our DNA, so uh, of course for us it's the most natural thing to support uh, events like this. Great. And what have you found from today's conference that really inspires you to continue to, to play that kind of role? Uh, I'll say some of the things, uh, uh, it's, some it's a big issues to fill with the, the speakers today. Um, but one of, one of the things I, I also took, uh, I'm taking home with me is that uh, assumptions. Uh, when, we, when we conduct training, when we uh, are, are performing uh, leadership, uh, assumptions is the mother of all so, pardon my friends, fuck ups. So, so we need to be curious, we need to ask, we need to investigate. Uh, and that's one of the things that we are doing that, but not enough. So that's definitely something we are going to do a lot more. Great. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I have the, uh, the great pleasure of uh, introducing the three nominees. Um, 
for the award. And the first nominee is Henrik Kvistgaard Koch. Everyone has to get home in the same condition as they came. Everyone has to get to the North Sea and have a good experience. They must not go back and have had a bad experience. And of course, they must not go back with an injury. That is not up for discussion. I have nominated Henrik because I think he is a very, very nice person. And he has been an inspiration to me. He is one of the reasons that I chose to become an HSC. He has understood and been able to change our perception of the HSC role. He has shown it as a new path and a new way of working offshore. I have seen what can happen out here, people that have been hurt. I've seen small injuries and I've seen large injuries, but I have also seen the difference this safety culture can make. You have to have the right mindset. I get to go around and talk to my colleagues and get to have an influence on their safety culture and how they behave out here. As I said, having the right mindset, that just means everything and good communication skills is a very, very high priority. I always try to be in a good mood and meet people with a smile. And I am never afraid to interact with others. One of the first times I saw Henrik in action was a situation where he had to interact with some older colleagues, people that had been working offshore for a long time. He simply went over there and became part of the team. He asked open questions like, have you thought about this? And if that was me, he doesn't dictate what to do, but get them to reflect about their work. Every bit of Henrik's personality just says, I am one of you. I am not here as a police officer with a flag and a stop card. I'm a part of the team and I'm here to help. I'm convinced he does not think he is a better person than others. He just has the ability to talk to people. He is empathic and a very, very good listener. The joy of getting to go around and having a good chat with my colleagues and being able to give them the right tools and incorporating the right mindset, it's just great that it is my job and I get to do that all day long. That is who I am. That's fantastic. Uh, the second nominee is uh, Alan K. Trans. You are passionate when you are working offshore. It's a way of life, and that is why it is important that we all care about safety. Suddenly things can evolve because you are so passionate about your work. My name is Alan Trans, and I have been DEC responsible and safety representative on Ceres since February 2021. I have nominated Alan because he is the very definition of high safety standards. He always put himself in front and has INEOS DNA running through him. He is the one that arranges our safety meetings and he is very passionate about being a safety representative. I like that about him. He always goes the extra mile that is required to uphold this title. Safety can very easily become boring, even though it isn't. But if we socially feel good about each other, then it becomes easier to talk about safety because you are in a more open state of mind. If there by any chance has been an electrical issue, then I contact an electrician out there and asks if he wants to go over the case for the rest of us. I am not an electrician. I don't have the skills that he has. In that case, it is probably more relevant that it is the ones with the right skill sets that explains it to the rest of us. That way we can get through all the relevant aspects of the case and how the incident occurred. When we have toolbox talks, I try to ask the questions that is normally not asked, and I try to do safety meetings a bit differently by involving the other participants, by letting them go through the cases instead of me reading it to the rest of them. I try to find small safety-related video clips. I think we all are very good at looking out for each other. And we are good at saying, stop a moment, maybe we can do this a different way. Maybe it's better to use a ladder in this situation because of the height, and maybe we need to wear full protection. Maybe we need to use some different gloves in that situation and things like that. So I think we are good at looking out for each other and we keep getting better. We learn all the time. 
All of us want to get home safely, and it is a dangerous work environment. But if we all take responsibility, then the chance of all of us getting home safely is much, much greater. The third, our third nominee is the Tyra on and offshore HSC team. For decades, the Tyra field has been a center for more than 90% of the Danish gas production in the North Sea. Following the field's natural subsidence, the Danish underground consortium took the decision to redevelop Tyra in order to enable a continued, safe and efficient production. After the successful decommissioning of the old Tyra and construction and installation of the new facilities, the Tyra redevelopment project is currently in its final phase. Here, the teams prepare and test the facilities to enable production restart an important step towards Danish and European energy security and independence. At Total Energy, safety is a core value aiming at protecting our most valuable asset, our people. Whoever you are, whoever you are employed with, and whatever you do. So I've nominated the onshore and offshore Tyra safety team for this award, simply because it takes an entire team to um, promote safety and keep um, safety as the number one priority. The Tyra HSC team, onshore and offshore, with the contractors, are developing and creating some proactive initiatives in order to implement our HSC management system to prevent any major accident or fatality within the project. Let us give you a few examples of our safety methodology. Golden rule, which is this, and stop card, or intervention program, zero fatality program, uh, through life saving check, safety green light, and joint safety tour, and also Taira Safety Culture Part 2. The offshore HSC committee allows providing a pragmatic approach on safety topics by exchanging openly, without any taboo, on safety related matters and challenges, providing simple solutions. We on Taira have implemented safety recognition awards for the offshore workforce. This encourages participation in making interventions or observations on both positive and unsafe conditions. This initiative has led to many offshore safety improvements to prevent and avoid incidents occurring. We have implemented a safety culture on Terra where the workforce is encouraged to intervene, stop a job or unsafe acts. We had two safety coaches uh, mobilized on site helping us to change the behavior and acting on human factors. We from HSE are brand ambassadors for safety and engage with our team on the ground every single day. Here we encourage those offshore to stop the job and intervene if they see something that is unsafe. We educate people who aren't experienced in the offshore working environment and we help develop everyone's situational awareness skills. If you feel something is unsafe, stop the job. Thinking about safety means thinking about our uh, family. The ABC, always be careful and be safe. Your family is waiting for you. Remember, everyone is important in our project and safety has to be everyone's responsibility. Safety, safety for, me, for me, safety for, for you, you safety for all. Thank you, son. I thought he came with a green and a red speech, but um, it's actually the the, uh, the winner or the the recipient of the award. Uh, and this year's recipient is Henrik Kvistgaard Koch. Henrik, please join us at the stage.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am, I'm not a big speaker, but I have to say something. I am a bit in, bit in shock, to be honest. Uh, yeah, well, safety is a teamwork. It starts with the individual, of course, but to bring it to life, it takes everybody working together. And uh, the guys that have brought me to stage today is Simco. I owe a big thank you to Simco for giving me the opportunity to uh, work with safety. Thank you, and thank you to all of you.